Hi parents, this is Dorothy and I'm here to give you an overview of what happened at the parents meeting last week. I do apologize for those who did show up on Saturday and were not able to get in. We were having technical difficulties. And so I just ask that you guys watch this video. It gives you all the information that you need knowing, uh, need to know about beginning our new faith formation year here at St. Angela Marici. All right, first let's go ahead and let's begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, you are the giver of all we possess, the source of all our blessings. We thank and praise you. Thank you for, all the, gift, for the gift of our children. Help us to set boundaries for them, and yet encourage them to explore. Give us the strength and courage to treat each day as a fresh start. May our children come to know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, who you have sent. May your Holy Spirit help them to grow in faith, hope, and love, so that they may know peace, truth, and goodness. May their ears hear your voice. May their eyes see your presence in all things. May their lips proclaim your word. May their hearts be your dwelling place. May their hands do works of charity. May their feet walk in the way of Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, parents, so here's what's going to be going on for the first four weeks of uh, catechism. So what we'll be doing is this week, you guys will receive an email that will have login and password information for My Catholic Faith Delivered. This is a program that will be used for first through fifth grade uh, children. So the parents just need to help them log in. And then if you, you would like, you can have them sit in front of the computer and complete the session all at once, or you can have them do different sections throughout the week. Really, it's your, your, your preference. So there's no uh, meetings that we'll be having uh, during the scheduled time for faith formation right now. Everything will be done online and led by the parents. For my pre-K and kinder parents, you guys will just need to come and pick up their materials and then you will walk them through the class. Um, I can send you the online where you can find the directions of how the class goes um, or even if you just wanna go through the material with them, that's perfectly fine too. So both will be parent-led uh, faith formation for right now until uh, parish council can reevaluate, which we're thinking it'll be around the end of September that they'll reevaluate whether we will come back to face to face classes or if we will continue online. Uh, you also have the option at any time to stay online and doing, doing the home study, or you can come to classes. It really is the preference of the parents, and we want to do what is best for your children to keep them safe. Book pickup, um, as you can see, we did have book pickup this past weekend, um, but we also have it tomorrow on the 9th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., but tomorrow you will actually pick the books up from the parish office. If you cannot make it tomorrow, we will also be available on Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 a.m. to have the books picked up as well. If you need to make other arrangements, please do not hesitate to email me. Uh, my email will be at the end of this training so that you can write it down um, and, and get any questions or anything that you, you have, uh, you can bring that to me and I'll definitely try to answer you guys as soon as possible. So here's a video of what you can look forward to and what the, on, like the online presence in the beginning part. And for those of you who stay in home study, what that's going to look like for you guys. So lessons one through four will need to be completed because those would be the ones as of right now that we will be doing online. If at any time in between then, um, you can probably look and rest assured we won't begin face-to-face -face classes until about mid-October if that's what Parish Council decides. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you guys so that that way you can watch it. Okay, so here I am on the main mycatholicfaithdelivered.com website. And by now, if you are trying to log in as a parent of a child taking religious education online, 
you will have received an email from your director of religious education. That email will have your child's username and password indicated in that email. So you will either click, click on the link that is in that email to be brought here to the mycatholicfaithdelivered.com website, or you can just go to your web browser and type it in like you see up here. So once you're on this main website, you'll notice there's a login button in the top right hand corner. Click on login and paste in the information from the email containing your username and your password. That will be the specific to your child and it is also anonymous and so there's no way for anyone to know who, what the name is of your child and whatnot. And because this is the first time you're logging in, you do have to certify that yes, they are above 13 years of age and you agree to the terms and services. This is pretty standard for any website where minors are logging in. So once you've logged in, you land directly on the main dashboard. There will be notifications posted here from your director of religious ed we do post the saint of the day every day on the dashboard here through our Facebook page. And so that post is brought in here. And then you'll notice here on the left hand side, the most important thing are the courses that you are enrolled in. So for most kiddos, it is always going to be just one single grade level, but you could have multiple courses here listed if you were in different classes. So you can either click go to learn here right from the dashboard or you can click on the learn tab up here and this brings you to where your courses are listed so i'm going to begin this course it, you'll notice i i haven't started this course yet and so i'm set here at zero percent progress and all of the lessons are listed out here so to begin a lesson, you simply click on lesson one or whatever lesson it may be. And this is the how you navigate through a course. You have the pages listed out here on the left. And as you're going through them, you just click on next page. Okay, this interface works really well with a tablet or mobile device. Um, but 70% of our users do still use a computer. And so Obviously, this works just fine as well. Um, I have my volume down, but all of this is voiced over, so you can hear and listen along as well as see the videos and the text that's being presented to you. So as you click through, the time in, spent in this lesson is being tracked, so we do know how long someone has spent doing a lesson. And every lesson has a pre-assessment and a post-assessment. And that's just a quick way to gauge, okay, here's five questions about the content and what's being covered in the chapter. Oh, wow, I only knew two out of the five things. That's, that's, that's crazy how much I learned by the end. I might have, you know, I'll get an eight out of 10 or a nine out of 10 in my post-assessment to see how much I've learned during that chapter. We always go through words to know for every single chapter. And when you get into the actual meat of the course, there will be text, there's voiceover, there's graphics that go along with the text, and there's also music, video or vocab flashcards, there's uh, games, so, you know, um, games that reinforce the different questions that you might learn during the during the chapter and so as you answer the questions you get points and etc okay so this is how you navigate through a lesson you can bookmark a page if someone really liked this game you can bookmark it to come back to it quicker and then if i'm done doing the lesson i will exit here and i'm taken back out of the course Okay, if I want to go back into the course here, you can see 
that my checkbox is set to gray. That means I have not completed 100% everything I needed to do to finish that lesson. But as soon as I do, that check mark will be green instead of gray. Okay, and my course progress is set to 2% because that's how much I have done left. Okay, you'll notice too there's also a unit test for every four lessons. So a unit test is just an, a number of questions that go over the last four lessons to make sure that everyone's still on track. And if you want to see reports, which are basically just kind of a summary of all the learning that is occurring in the system, you'll see here that for this course, for grade four, my user here has done lesson one. I've spent a total of two and a half minutes in the course, or about two and a half minutes. I'm 83% done with the lesson, which means I've you know gone through 83% of the pages, and it'll say here, I've only viewed this many pages, the, the user hasn't taken the assessments. So that's important to know. You have to take the assessments to finish the chapter. So here you'll list, we will list here the first score that you got as the on the final assessment, but you are able to take it as many times as you want. So maybe the first time I took it, I got a 70%, and then the second time I took it, maybe I got 100%. So we always track the first score, but also the best score that happened during the uh, learning. And that is it. You really don't need to know much more as a parent of someone going through this course. If you get locked out, for example, if your child continually tries to log in unsuccessfully, if they do that seven times in a row and they get locked out, please reach out to your director of religious education. They can unlock your user for you. Um, otherwise, you can always uh, email support at mycatholicfaithdelivered.com and we'll be happy to help as well. God bless, and I hope everyone has a fruitful year learning more about their faith and sharing it with each other. Awesome. Okay, so parents, as you can see, you your child will just need to sit in front of the computer and complete the lessons. So there's no extra Zoom meetings. You can take it at your own pace. I believe that uh, everything should be available for you to start working on this as of September the 12th is what my Catholic Faith Delivered had, had let, let me know. Okay, um, and again, any questions, please do not hesitate to email me. All right, um, unfortunately, I can't run Kids Club on my own. I wish that I could, but I do need help. So we are currently looking for catechist um, or any other type of help to come in. Um, it really only takes two hours and that's me like overestimating on time. So it usually takes about 30 minutes to plan the lesson. It's an hour for the class. And then you stay about 10 to 15 minutes afterwards to um, help with making sure we get the kids dismissed and out uh, in a timely manner. So if you guys can help with uh, being a catechist, or even if you can come and help be a hall monitor for, um, for us, or help with uh, getting at the exit and let, getting everybody uh, to their car safely and making sure that that process goes faster, please um, email me. My email address is Dorothy G at S-T-A Marici G-H dot com. Also, if you have any questions about being a catechist, please send those out. There's, um, there's not much that you really would need to do. All the lessons are planned for you. So you just put it together to see what really works for your classroom. Again, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that you need, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, also to let you know, I will be assisting with youth ministry as well. So I will be helping with Kids Club and uh, helping with youth ministry until they find someone to replace me uh, with Kids Club. So uh, you'll see me around uh, at the parish, definitely. And then you'll also definitely see me working with all your children if you have them in elementary, middle school, or high school faith formation. 
Um, again, I'm here to serve you guys. So however I can help you and your families, I will definitely try to do. All right, let's go ahead and just close with prayer in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, I praise you and I thank you for the gifts of the family and the children at St. Angela Marici. I ask that you just bless us this year, keep everyone safe during this time and help us to come to know your love and how it is that you are reaching out to us during this time of all of us just, just struggling to uh, be together sometimes and struggling being stuck in the same place. Um, and uh, definitely with online learning, dear Lord, that any difficulties of that will be uh, lifted and that everyone will be blessed in a special way. Mother Mary, you love us. You always lead us closer to Jesus. And so I ask that as we pray this Hail Mary, you pray for us in a special way. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear parents, thank you so much for watching this uh, meeting. Again, any questions, do not hesitate to shoot me an email. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.